sprinkle and I'm so excited to be bringing you February's stamp release. We have some awesome beautiful rubber stamps as well as some great digital stamps for you guys to check out. Make sure you take advantage of our special that's happening for a limited time on this month's rubber stamp and digital stamp release as well as go to the blog. Comment on all of the designers' cards and enter to win our amazing contest. If you have any questions on all the details, please feel free to comment below or contact us at Sparkle and Sprinkle. To get started, I'm going to show you this beautiful stamp set called Pretty Blooms. This is just gorgeous. It's a nice, large floral stamp, so you can see how big that is there, like the size of my hand. And then it's got Sincere for someone so special and sympathy. It's always nice to have a rubber stamp selection of some sympathy cards for anything. So it's good to have on hand. And this is a really beautiful, large flower base, which I really like. And our designers have done some amazing techniques. So check that out using some of our fantastic thick embossing powder. We've got the Aquaflow watercolor pens, which is really beautiful. Some of our micro fine glitters, as well as the Aqua Shimmers, which is really beautiful. I love the detail of stamping into that super thick. So that turned out really gorgeous from one of our amazing designers. Uh, this is a super fun one. I love this technique. And we've got some great new designers lined up for you this year, so make sure you stay tuned and check out all the fantastic things that they do. I love the purple accents with the watercolors and the beautiful glitter here. This is Sugar Plum by Sparkle and Sprinkle. And love that. And she added the happy birthday. And this is from our balloon stamp set, which is new this month as well. So I love incorporating the two different stamp sets. This is an absolutely beautiful dimensional card. Check that out. I love this fold. Really intricate. You've got the layering of the flowers, which is something that you can do with your fussy cutting and just layer them on. And I love using that green embossing powder. And that is... That embossing powder is Key Lime, one of my favorites for sure. So beautiful. And then she's even incorporated some of that margarita, microfine glitter, as well as this beautiful orange here, which is creamsicle. Super, super gorgeous. So this one here is comboing the many thanks, which you know I've used that stamp set again and I mean that die cut again and again and again. And then you see that background paper. It's not background paper. That is the gorgeous stamp set and then layered and embossed and all the work that goes into that is just gorgeous. I love putting things off to the side to give it that like off skewed look, which is really a gorgeous, fantastic work. And the last card I'm gonna show you from this set is a really beautiful mixed media card. A lot of fun detail and layer going on here. She's got the beautiful stamps here embossed with the um, Antiquities, which is a really beautiful embossing powder. It's not gold, it's not silver, it's not bronze, it's somewhere in the middle, Antiquities, which is really nice. And then you've got the beautiful coloring techniques that she has used. So make sure for more details on all of those stamps that you go check out our blog. All right, the next stamp set I am going to go to is this adorable Bonnet Birdie. And all of these as well come in digital. So this one here, you've got that beautiful bird with the red hat as well as the chirp saying. And this here has our beautiful birdie with the flocking powder. So just like we showed you last month, uh, this is some of our more basic colors of the flocking, which is really beautiful. And I love how she put the bird into the frame and then using one of the dies there. The next one, this is really cool. This is on a wooden plaque. So it's got a lot of dimension. You've got the gilding flakes, which is really beautiful to frame the chirps. 
And I love the chalk coloring technique done there with the bird and the surrounding frame with the pink flowers. Love it. This is a really fun layered card as well, keeping consistent with the birdie's red hat. I love the glitter accents on the bow with the beautiful, beautiful fire engine red. And then the embossing done here over the background really makes that pop. Such a lovely card. Next, we've got a cool frame. So we've got a lot more mixed media this month coming to you by our designers, which is really cool to see some other fun projects that you can do with rubber stamps. And this has the two birdies, which is really cute. And then some stenciling with the Glimmer Paste, which is beautiful by the Tonic Studios, available at Sparkle and Sprinkle. And then some glitter embellishments and Nuvo Drops. Really fun, great, don't mind those butterflies just falling behind me. Really great samples from that stamp set. Stamp set. Next I'm gonna show you the birthday stamp set. And the stamp set is called Balloon Bunch. And you get Celebrate as well as Happy Birthday as your sayings that go along with these beautiful balloons. Really fun. There's gonna be a lot of different ways you can make those pop and become dimensional. I love the, added, the adding of the crystal drops in the background. Really makes your balloons pop. This is a really fun one used with one of our wobbles, action wobbles. And then you've got really sparkly butterflies and then the acetate. Incorporating that acetate into your cards really has like an elegant finish to it. So it's nice how this really works with the massive amounts of glitter and that sparkliness and then finishing it off with just a touch of acetate. Really well done. This is nice. I love the reds and the orange and the pinks and then used with the natural color of the paper in the background. And you've got the celebrate, a lot of embossing and really love the detail here with how all of the balloons look dimensional and super shiny. The last one from this collection is this great fold here. And then you've got the balloons right up here. They're all nice and shiny using a lot of sparkle and sprinkles, beautiful glitters. We've got the super thick clear over the balloons. We have the Caspia Sea and the Purple Fig, two of our brand new microfine glitters with this. So make sure you check that out so you can get all the fantastic details of that stamp set. So we have two more rubber and then I want to talk about two digitals as well. So this next one, which is really beautiful, is Happiness Greetings. Happiness Greetings. Really, really pretty sane. May your day, dear friend, have the happiness it can hold. All the happiness it can hold. And the key to happiness is to follow your heart. And this is available in Digi as well. And make sure you check out the difference in the digital as well as the rubber stamp because you can really increase some of these really beautiful detail stamps available in the set on the digital stamp collection. And here is a fantastic card, really bright, really poppy. What a fantastic thing to receive on a not so awesome day. Not like today isn't so awesome, but what a great, great way to brighten and cheer somebody up. So really love what she did with the watercoloring technique. This has got a lot of fun layers. We've got the mirrored cardstock. We've got the beautiful specialty paper by Tonic Studio. She's layering in embossing powder. We've got some embellishment mousse, which is just beautiful. I love the addition of these keys here with the embossing powder on her. And these are chipboard with embossing powder over it. And then the pops using that amazing tonic dye, the hearts that I just love and use so much. It's such a great essential dye to have. And then of course you've got your really beautiful, right in there you could see them, those are the crystal drops and those are the transparent ones. And then another awesome mixed media looking card. Love the looks of the antiqued and aged look. 
and the beautiful look at you can see how these little embellish these little accent stamps in the saying stamp really go well together and they add that extra little touch which is really nice love the corrugated chipboard in the background the embossing powder and then the little bits of the beautiful glitter and that is ocean and just really making it pop so really beautiful it's so fun to see all the different ways and styles that our amazing designers can do with one stamp set this is another fantastic and this is the last but not least layering look at all those different fun layers just adding a little bit of lace and then the beautiful embossed card and then die cuts with the glitter in the background stamped just lovely you've got the butterscotch which is one of our brand new glitters which looks really beautiful that's a brand new microfine glitter really love all the different details happening in here and the gilding flakes make sure you go check out all the details on our designers blog okay we have a digital two digitals that you definitely need to pop onto the website sparkleandsprinkle.net and get all the information for this is snowman with a heart digi and it is 314 so digi 314 just a lovely stamp set go and check out all the fun different features you can make your snowman, which is nice, you can make him teeny tiny, or you can make him super big. What a fun card. So here are my two different samples of the adorable snowman. And once again, she incorporated a rubber stamp set with the Digi stamp set, which really is nice when you have the option to use both of them. So don't limit yourself. Go crazy. Go Digi and rubber together. Combo that up. And here is really fun. I love the wobble. I love that she made this heart up here kind of look like a sunshine. Really beautiful. Using the glitter accents, popping up certain embellishments on the actual snowman. It just shows you how versatile a digital stamp could be and all these fun things that you could do to it without actually stamping it. You just get to print that bad boy up, the coloring's already done, and boom, you get to have all the fun and add your magic onto your card. Just love it. Thumbs up, designers. Okay, last but not least, this was the stamp set used in our video kit club, our stamp kit club that happens at the beginning of the month, and this is Whispers of Comfort Hydrangea Stamp. So I used it in the stamp club as a thank you card, but it is actually a sympathy card set, but you have a lot of versatile versatility with it, and you can use obviously the stamp image any way you want it, just like I did with the thank you card. So my point to talk about this guy is you've got to check out all the beautiful digital stamps that's available with this stamp set as well. So you've got that beautiful purpley blue color, and then when you go and you check out the digitals, there are a ton of other coloring options to choose from. So really make sure you check that out. This is the card that really inspired me to do the stamping on acetate that we did for the stamp club this month. So see how cool that is? And she made it into a shaker card, which is not very easy to show unless you're standing right here next to me. Come on, guys. But you can see how cool that is as a shaker card. So you can turn any of your stamping on acetate into shaker cards and get this fantastic effect. Just beautiful. And once again, layering in with those pieces of lace and then beautiful sparkle embellishment. She's using here uh, our brand new microfines as well. The Butterscotch, Ge Gecko, Caspian Sea, and then throwing in some oldies but goodies with the Shamrock and Ocean Breeze. Really well done absolutely love it amazing job you can see here this is a digital so see how large and big that stamp image is compared to the first one i showed you she really blew it up and i love the different color choices and then the layering of that intricate die over the sticker paper and then adding in that fine glitter which is really pretty so you can see all the difference, and that's cobalt blue, one of our micro fine glitters. And then you've got touches of glitters here over the digital stamp, which is really nice. Now we've got here, which I love the 
white embossing powder with the hydrangeas and then she added in her color over that darker paper which is really nice you can see you've got the crystal drops here like I said the white embossing powder we have the ocean breeze bubblegum sparkling snow and lemonade which are all gorgeous glitters and for the most part all semi-transparent so you could see the color through them when you are painting over them with your brushable glue adding your glitter and then you could see through them and it just adds a bit of sparkle so so beautiful and then last but not least is the card that we did for this month's video kit club using the wobble stamping on acetate and then putting the glitter on the reverse side to protect it all in your card and then using the sticker paper so if you haven't checked that out yet or if you're not a member of the club go check that out make sure your homework everybody is to hop on to our sparkle and sprinkle blog and check out all the amazing things the blog hop enter the contest you have the chance to win all of these amazing stamps we've got some great new exciting things coming up for you next month at the stamp reveal so make sure you stay tuned to our sparkle and sprinkle youtube channel have a wonderful week everybody bye bye Thank you.